Tonight, a last-ditch effort is underway to try to undo more than $3 million in budget cuts in Iowa City schools. The cuts weren't on the agenda for tonight's board meeting, but it's clear it was on everyone's mind. Fox 28 News reporter Matt Hamill joins us live from Iowa City tonight with more. Matt? You guys, we're talking about that $3.6 million in cuts of a lot of emotions here tonight, everywhere from passionate to almost angry. A lot of people here tonight felt they were blindsided by these budget cuts when they happened a couple of weeks ago. They came here tonight to try to fight back. The cuts immediately hit a sour note with parents and teachers. Middle school music gone, also fourth grade orchestra and a reduction in staff. Some seventh grade foreign language also slashed from the budget. Administrators call the cuts final, but students in Save Iowa City German shirts and even a professor with his cello came to address their last hope. The school board. How in the hell is it cheaper, excuse my language, how in the heck is it cheaper to send a student to the University of Iowa to take German than it is to do it in our schools if we're maintaining the teachers? Before this train gets too far down the track, why don't you put the brakes on? Please reconsider the amount of this cut. This is short sighted. The reality is students get less for less. It's just going to leave us with two languages that kids will have the option of taking. While two is better than one or zero, it, it's a big deal. Anthony Arnone told the board he would leave talking to someone more eloquent and use his three minutes to remind how music changes lives. Those who watch the board say they wish they could be more hopeful that they will step in and stop the cuts. That was, that was really frustrating for me to see as a parent. I mean, I'm proud of those kids, what they did. That's awesome. I think that's really great. Some of the students who were here tonight actually went to Des Moines earlier in the day to talk to lawmakers about the possibility of getting more money for their school programs. Now, the superintendent tells me tonight this is not over yet. He fully expects the budget cuts to be on the agenda again at the May 13th meeting. We, of course, will be here covering the corridor tonight in Iowa City. Matt Hamill.